Welcome to AMC Month in Review, your guide to everything that's happening around the command. This month, AMC welcomed a new major subordinate command, senior leaders discussed multi-domain operations, and AMC's Chief of Staff retired after more than three decades of service. Let's take a look at command accomplishments in March 2019. On March 1st, the Installation Management Command formally became a major subordinate command of AMC. AMC Commander General Gus Perna took part in the Assumption of Command Ceremony. March 8th, praising IMCOM personnel for the work they do, establishing military might and sustaining troops. Many people can talk about what they do. Many organizations have great war records, and I appreciate that. But you, this single command, is directly responsible to generating the military might of this country. Throughout the month, major subordinate commands, including Army Contracting Command, U.S. Army Security Assistance Command, and Aviation and Missile Command, updated AMC senior leaders on current initiatives and achievements. General Perna advised commands to see themselves and make sure output matches requirements. On March 20th, AMC's highest ranking civilian joined leaders from across the community for a panel discussion in honor of Women's History Month. Panel members highlighted women from history they admired. AMC Executive Deputy to the Commanding General, Ms. Leisha Adams, chose Mother Teresa, admiring the way she took care of those in need. She knew that needed love, not judgment. And this is something we should and can do for our workforce and our customers. Just think about what we could accomplish if we did. Success has nothing to do with what you do for yourself. It's what you do for others. On March 26th through the 28th, AMC senior leaders participated in the Association of the United States Army's Global Force Symposium in Huntsville. General Perna addressed the audience on Army Material Command's responsibility to ensure readiness of the strategic support area in multi-domain operations. Our efforts in the strategic support area will reach forward to the operational and tactical areas and drive in support of success but it'll take our collective effort. During a follow-on panel about operationalizing the strategic support area, AMC Deputy Commander, Lieutenant General Ed Daly, said that adding medical materiel and installation management to AMC's portfolio supports multi-domain operations. From my perspective, uh, the opportunities here are replete. Uh, we can now integrate and synchronize all of the sustainment capabilities within the strategic support area in order to generate, project, sustain and ensure operational reach and freedom maneuver to forces throughout the battle space during large-scale combat operations and in a multi-domain environment. After the panel, Perna joined in honoring one of the 2018 Army Athletes of the Year, Sergeant Michael Melendez Rivera. Also at AUSA Global Force on March 28th, AMC Command Sergeant Major Roger Mansker participated in a panel for high school junior ROTC cadets where local students asked for insight and advice. Mansker shared his thoughts on what makes a good leader. In order to be fair, firm, and consistent, you gotta take out emotions a little bit. And because it's critical, you don't build teams by yelling. You don't build teams by breaking people down. How do you build teams? You build them. At a follow-on luncheon in honor of the cadets, Perna conducted a ceremonial swearing-in of future soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines who will join the military after high school. He also served as the keynote speaker, sharing his personal story and urging students to serve with honor and integrity. And finally, also on March 28th, AMC bid farewell to its chief of staff. Major General Alan Elliott retired after nearly 35 years of service. Elliott was the first reserve general officer to serve as AMC's chief of staff. Elliott expressed his appreciation for the work AMC does. Our purpose is to assure America's sons and daughters serving in defense of our nation are always the best equipped, best maintained, best sustained fighting force on the planet. AMC ensures that if those great Americans ever have to fight, that we're not going to put them in a fair fight. To find out more about these topics, visit AMC's webpage. And thanks again for checking out AMC Month in Review.